Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody out there. Welcome to my forensic show. My son caught these pictures, as you've seen a couple of them, in Nevada, uh, actually Carson City, Virginia City area. Reno, you know. Um, and what he said, Dad, there's something strange about these clouds. And so he sent it to me on the phone. I really quickly just, you know, started going through the one, and I saw that. And so what I did was I started doing a little 5K on it, up to 8K, and I did a little forensic at the end because I've seen a number of ships. So anyways, hold on to your hats, grab a coffee. This is not a very long video, but the forensics going to show you this is not a cloud, as some will say. These are those clouds that park over the mountains, Chris. No, or volcanoes and they have layers and they look like caps. Nope, 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 nope. Anyways, subscribe, like, share with a friend. So I'm going to show you the pictures. He sent me five pictures as a clip, but I cannot get it out. So the clip's just him driving. It's no big deal. Anyways, I hope you guys are doing good. Stay tuned. Forensic is coming in a few minutes, okay? I'll talk to you in a bit. Well, how's everybody doing out there? <clears throat> I'm showing you the clones. Show, the clones show the small drones and the UAPs that are around the ship that you can't even see. They're so small, but they are there. They've been there in many pictures I've taken or, or captured. Hope you guys enjoyed the music. I'm trying not to get too radical on this about it. Um, if my music's strange, don't worry. I, I'm trying to do world music. But anyways, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm uh, adjusting my forensic tool to get the best possible clone pictures but there's not a lot of clones let's go to level sweep level sweep eliminates all the everything but the light so if there's light coming out of somewhere you'll see it there's some light right there in the middle see that middle row my suspicion is like watching on tv you ever see a craft that has a window all the way around it like that or the front of the ship you know to me that's what it is it's just a long window in between the two different uh, saucer looking things you know sandwiching in it so anyways um, this is not fake you know I watch a lot of UFO videos and you could absolutely tell they're just fake as can be I won't even watch the whole thing I'll turn it off because I know it's fake but this is not fake for one my son don't even look at the sky for anything he's not you know sky watching he thinks I'm a little nutty but he knows I'm for real he watched me find all kinds of ufo he's actually sent me three ufos and i got three videos on them this is his third one but you see right here down here below this with all the other looking same similar looking things that's a cloud right there that's all clouds and objects inside the clouds that's all i gotta say you'll see down here these look the same but they just have a little bit more ground cover and what they do is they cloak just like our uh, blank mantis they cloak and you see the clouds from the other side on the side of the ship like a screen and then they also do uh, cloud uh, blocking cloaking with clouds so what I'm gonna do is show you every way I can to prove to you that these I think all total there's five of them and then there's a half a dozen drones but there you go I try to get this black and white version it's a principal component analyst otherwise it's telling you this is different than those clouds this is not a cloud up here and as you can see that telephone pole on the right I, I, you know it looks like a real object now look at the spaceships and look at the clouds you can see they're all 3d objects in the sky the cloud is not just mist it's a solid object keep watching keep watching see i noticed a lot of stuff inside the clouds just a lot of stuff inside those clouds. So, um, I inverted it so you still see it the opposite way. And the ridge is sticking out. What I'm calling the window, that lit up part. 
So I, I recorded this and I did the narrating on it, folks, and it was gone. So apparently I didn't hit the right button. But I'm redoing it now, which I did a lot of crazy ranting because I just started seeing this. So I was kind of wild talking about it. Probably good I lost it because I probably said some things that were just rude. Uh, when I get excited, I just rumble, ramble, and say what's on my mind. But right now, this is a real object, folks. If you're in Reno, keep your eyes open over the mountaintop, about 20,000 feet up, 15,000, 25, somewhere around there. Guesstimation. But, uh, and this is what you see with this tool. I cannot give you the address. I was giving it to it. Giving it to me by an investigator, and he said, do not share this tool. And I said, okay. And so, I got it. Sorry you don't. But, um, if you search the internet, you'll find something similar. Uh, it's out there, forensic tools. There are all kinds of forensic tools out there. Um, anyways, the magnifier with uh, channel by channel will give you color. Like if it's metal, it, like right there, it looks like metal, right? It's something, but then it's not a cloud. Anyways, there's one shot here. Let me see if I can find it. It actually looked like an eagle cut out. I mean, on top of something. As you can see, there's little objects that you don't understand as clouds because they don't look like clouds. They look like solid objects. Well, I hope you guys are seeing it. And I'll try to go slow, but there's a lot. And I don't want to extend the video way past its point, you know. So, I try to speed things up, cut things out, and just show you right there, triangle ship. Just show you stuff like that. Like a triangle ship sitting there. And these are just not normal clouds. I've seen a lot of clouds without stuff in them. And they're just nothing. Just like a big fuzzball. And all you see is like, you know, light reflecting out of it. Now sometimes, you know, you get you get light. Um, inside the clouds. And it don't make sense because there's no sun shining on them. And sometimes you do. It's like an object inside the cloud. It could be, you know, asteroids way up above. Way above, way above. But that metal object right there, that's something. It's very demonic looking. Look at the bottom here. Look at the front of this big cloud right here. It's flat on the bottom. See the black? It's flat. And also, I want you to notice the black lines around what looks like normal clouds, and they're not. Those are actually CGI from another source, and I would say these ships that are all around are projecting this. Um, I'll keep an eye on Nevada from weather cam, see if I can spot more stuff. It might be a hot spot for them to gather in the sky. But um, Klaus Schwab, he stepped down from his world economic thing, so something big's happening. It could be this, you know, fake invasion, real invasion, who knows. I, I personally think, there you go, that's the eagle looking thing. Look at that, folks. Look at that. It looks like a cutout of a square. Looks like the USA post office symbol for the eagle. You know how it has that? Anyways, go check that out. I should put a picture up there of the USA post office eagle. Isn't that nuts? You could even see an eagle looking thing like that in a cloud. Come on, folks. Then you see the U.S. eagle. It's the opposite direction, but it still looks similar to that. And these things are not what they seem in the sky. Don't believe it. If you feel weird, if you're looking up and you feel weird and the cloud looks strange, take a number of different angles on it. If it's traveling fast or the whole uh, armada like this one is an armada. Look at the bottom of the ship right there. Black. Anyways, we got the whole Amada. Take a pit few pictures. Take some clips, like 10 seconds. Send them to me or put them up on uh, Facebook under Messenger and I'll just download them real quick and do you a video because I like stuff like this. Look how the angles on that thing are so sharp and the side goes down. I like that triangle ship. That looks like a black mantis or something. Anyways, there's a lot of garbage out there. Only look for the real. As uh, CCTV or C for all celestial watchers, we only find real stuff. We don't add nothing. We filter and we use devices like like this 
the forensic app and what happens is you get to really see what's going on so a lot of people you see them taking pictures of ufos while they're driving and uh some of those are real and then some of the guys are really good with cgi and photoshop and there's so many different technologies out there where you could just ai could do it for you but when you're actually doing the forensic tool like this i'm showing you in real time this is a regular old cloud out there pine trees up in the hills and you can see stuff in these clouds you can see uaps in these clouds you can see i mean you name it it's up there i've actually seen guys flying with flying machines on their backs it looked like they were you know had jet packs like the jetsons you know just zooming up in the air flying around and i can't tell you for a fact that they're people but they're somebody or something using something like a like a platform they're standing on and they're just hovering up in the clouds now in these pictures you'll see a lot of triangles and i think those are all the black mantis type um tr3b's but uh, there's no channel doing what I'm doing. There's a little UAP, a little black one there on the bottom of that black bottom. Now that's a strange object with light coming out of it. I think that black cloud right there, personally, is some type of cloud maker. Now remember this thing is, look at the arrow. This thing's blowing stuff up like 13 times and it's already been um, maximized to at least 5 to 7K with super clarity. I added 300 pixels per inch which gives it a really clear focus when you're doing this especially so some of those clouds have light coming out of them and i think that the bottom of the ship's power units or whatever or engines or anti-gravity or whatever you want to call it because you know i'm not the scientist i'm just a, just a sky gazer keep watching keep watching i'll be back Now just focus right there on that line, which I think is a window and light coming out of it. And then focus down on the below that. It's like a ledge that goes in. It's a shadow and there's a wall coming down. Now right here, this cloud has got me, you know, the black lines around it are total evidence that it's CGI. Now is it from blue beam? I don't know. This whole thing could be a blue beam casted onto the milky blue skies we now have, like an LCD screen. And that's thanks to the uh, Kimmies, you know, the things that trail all around. They crisscross reservations and, and uh, Native American Indian reservations. They crisscross them because they're, they're throwing so much junk down. They don't want people just to get sick, respiratory sickness, and they don't have to pay Social Security and stuff. You know, you know how the game goes. Anyways, that's a little out of my range. That's for somebody else to talk about. I'm just talking about this light in between right here. Now, this level sweep I'm using right here will leave the light sources from the area it's coming from and so if the light source is not inside the cloud it won't show the light source okay so if there's a light source inside the ship like that window I believe it is um, it will show the light source so this one right here is heavily I think this thing is 9k just to really get it and you can see that wall coming up See the wall just comes up this is a uh, histamine by channel um, luminous grantus gives you like a topical map so there's something there that's actually 3d like that ship right there with that yellow line to the middle which i think is a window and those clouds are just clouds and some are fake and some are cgi but that window right there see how it's just yeah i see clouds making straight windows like that all the time no i don't I'm just being facetious, I guess. Or smart ass, excuse me. It's more like a smart ass. <laughs> My wife's looking at me. No, she's not looking at me. She knows how I am. Anyways, I hope you guys are enjoying this because this is the, if there is a UFO channel or a UAP channel or Curiosity and Discovery 2024 is my uh, YouTube channel, then I got real stuff because I only put up real stuff. And uh, if I think something's fake, I'm not trying to debunk nobody, but I'll take it, no names. And if you've seen it and you know who it is, uh, no offense, but I'll debunk it right in front of you. And I've done that a few times. That's not my job here. 
My job is to show you that this craft is real. And these clouds are fake. And these clouds are also cloaked in smaller smoke machines and all kinds of cloud machines. I mean, they're using so many different things to keep you from seeing the real deals, especially the planets. Planet X is real. Wormwood, Revelation 8 talks about it. The worst time on earth ever. And if you're left here and don't go in the rapture, and you believe you have to go through this to prove Jesus, prove to Jesus that you love him, you got the wrong doctrine. God's not going to leave you here to die. If you've been a son of his and in fellowship with him, you're going up. So you don't have to worry about this, but you might see some of this, so don't freak out. That's why I'm showing you it's up in the air. I'm showing you, it's like a pre-showing of what they're getting ready to do. And since Klaus Schwab took off World Economic Forum, I think something weird's happening. Everybody's going underground to the $55,000 bunkers and a thousand for the land fee, 56,000, better bring your own food because they ain't gonna supply it. Now, to me, that's a death trap going underground because of Planet X or because of um, Wormwood hitting Earth. And, uh, or the UFOs just freak them out and they don't want to be here. Anyways, just showing you a little proof. The rest of it, you guys, just keep watching and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for the thumbs up. Like it, share it with three people today that love UFOs, that believe in UFOs, and let them share it with people that don't. We're just going to get it out there, okay? So you guys help me. We'll get this thing out there. I'll talk to you later. God bless and have a great night.